Right, so what's done there obviously, stripped it, unwound the armour and then I cut them about there. I cut them all the way around using my, uh, where is it, using those little ball croppers from Nipex, really good they are. So I used them, not forgetting to tie on the uh, piece of armour to keep the PVC tight that will allow to stop the fish hooks and now basically I'm going to fit the gland now from this point here that cable has got to go up into there so the whole thing goes up towards those cables the two 150s that were done yesterday lay on the top and then it gets lifted back up and drops back into the uh, back into the gland hole which is already drilled so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I can get it done. I had a little bit of help with the 240s yesterday and they were awkward. You can see, look, on the on the wall where the uh, PVC scratched a little bit and that's how tight it was. So this these ones come inside, like they drop inside of the two 240s. So it's going to be even more, even more tighter, if that's even a word. But yeah, I'm going to get this gland put on now and then what I'll do is I'll try and find a good position to record the cable going up, if we can. Right, is there any tension on that? Yeah. Yes, there is. So we'll have to lift that up, pull, lift that up, and pull it in so it's stood on its end. Okay. There you go. Tension off that. He says, knowingly, doesn't do, does it? Okay. 
almost take it out of there. Yeah. Uh, it's releasing it. It's releasing it. Oh, you can get rid of them. Right, like straight in my face. Right then. That is rotten, that. You need to see a vet. Right on. Here's a lift. Let's see if you can get that gland over the edge. Up. Beautiful. And again, lift. Up. All yours, kid. Good. Right then. I imagine that's what it smells like when you work in an abattoir or something like that. Or a morgue in the summer. <laughs> Your dad's mate used to say, it's, all, it's only chowed bread. <laughs> uh, right. I'll try and bend this. If I can't get it, I'll have to put the ratchet oh, you know, up. Ratchet up onto that. <sighs> oh, that went in all right. Oh, Might start getting a bit awkward here. Might start getting a little bit awkward. Because now it's got to come, it's got to come underneath that one. But obviously I haven't but I'll have to form it into there, so I don't know what, what the situation's gonna be here. Right. See if you can bend it. Um, oh, no, yeah. Right, keep it going. Keep it going. Right, the gland at the plate. The gland's at the plate. Right. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. If you pull that forward. That was, oh, the noise. That was the noise, wasn't it? No. That was the noise. Um, I know you. It's not. I have to find the other one, but that's one. Can I just flatten them? Yeah, they are. Yeah, there's no no particulars where. No particulars. What I will have to do is pull it in, so it flattens the back end down. Unless you can lift you. The trouble is when I lift it up. Can he get in? Blocks you off. It's not the end of the world because I can put I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull it into this. That's got it anyway, Alice. It's got it in Yeah, place. it's gonna come, it's gonna yeah, go it's back. Gonna do it the front's nice. gonna come up and the back. Yeah. yeah, so what I'm gonna do. Put that onto about there, and as I pull it down, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd agree with that. That's, um, I think I need some oil on this. It's supposed to free flow, but it's getting caught. What's the trouble with oil? Then is it comes to chain and grease? I know. It's flush. You're not getting any flush around. The only thing I'm concerned about now is I'm not going to sit on that now. Please say no. Oh, you could hand tight, but it goes stiff. Is there I'm a bit of... I was going to say, check if there's a bit of uh, 
Well, it could drop through, yeah. The thing is, it might not be damaging them, it might just be gathering a bit of aluminium. Yeah, just... Is that done? Can we wiggle it a little bit on? See if you can get it a bit more. Obviously, I can get it with the grips. Get a good one, come on. Go on. That's it, that's all I'm getting, man. Well, hopefully, it got most of that because I don't know where it was pointing. But anyway, that's the cable in. Four core, one eight five. Beautiful.
Right, that's oh wait, I'll put the put the uh, light on. There we go. That's the two forties done. Uh, I'm going to move up to that one now and start the one eight fives. I've got about an hour left, so I'll see what I get done in that hour. I really wanted to finish them, but if I can't, I can't. Um, this just leaves me a bit more to do tomorrow. But never mind. But yeah, two forties finished, and then I'm going to dismantle that. That case, take the take those front panels off, and then I'll set away and see if I can get those two those two sorted tonight. I'll be very happy if I can within an hour, like. But I shall report back. Right then, there we go. So that's the one eight five and the two forties done. Um, I was hoping to get the one fifty those two done, but that'll be a nice easy job for the morning. To get me into in the swing of things and then and then I've got the tackle those two which if you can see behind me where they go along and then they disappear so let's go and see where they disappear to so this is the two cables as they run along and they disappear over the side of the rack. You can just see them there. We've got a ceiling bit. We've got ducting. And they go in to that glam plate. That one there. Now, this is going to be a task. I've got to get a measure on both cables, get the glands on them, and then pull them back. And I think because I put the glands on, I'll only get them to there. So I'm hoping, I only need a meter inside, that's the good thing, but I can only pull them back to there, I can't go any further. So I'm hoping that that distance from that panel to there is more than a meter, which I think it is. But I, I do, however, have to get them up into there. So this could be a mega struggle. I don't need a lot in there, I only need to go to about here. Oh, to about here, because they're crush fit fittings. So there's no lugging to do, but it's actually getting the cable in this area. But that is tomorrow's task. <laughs> it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. A whole lot of fun, but, Let's see if I can do it. Who knows what troubles we may come across. But we'll see. So I'm going to tidy up now. Tidy all my mess up. And um, then head for the gymnasium. Where I shall be lifting weights and such. And having showers. Okay then, here we are trying to do the awful cables. What I've got, I'm just in the process of removing this unistrut and the hanger because as you can see, if you look, that's the plane that the cables want to go in and I'll be just hitting that. So I'm gonna take it out temporarily, put it back in later obviously. I've got a man to make me a unistrut as wide as that plinth and put it basically there. And what I'm going to use that for is an anchor point for the ratchet straps and whatever else to pull the cables up into there. And then what I can do is take this side of the cable and bend it against it so it forms a bend. So it forms the bend up there and then down into, into the glam plate, hopefully. That's the plan. 
Whether it comes to fruition or not is another matter, but we'll see that in a bit. So I'm just going to dismantle this unistrut now. Right, so the first part's gone actually quite well. I've got the unistrut in, I've got the ratchet strap on it, and then what I wanted to do, because I'm going to bring them in side by side, like one there and one there, that has worked out quite well. It's quite close to the ceiling, I don't know if you can see the difference. But what I'm going to do now is just change that. What I've put that in for is so I can actually create a bend. Because it's got I've got somewhere to pull from and pull against in that direction. So I'm going to move the strap now down to about there. And then what that will do, I'll tighten it up a little bit and it'll raise it up right up to the ceiling. And then I should be able to get a measure and I should be able to get a gland on. Now this bit has gone pretty well. It doesn't mean to say that the rest of it's going to follow, I don't think. But, we'll try. Right. See if we can lift that up a little bit. If you go, you go and stand, put your, ready to put your foot on it. Lovely. Right, that's it. That's the limit. Put, keep your foot on there so it doesn't move. Ah. Right. Stand with it so you're facing me and pushing that way. No, you're pulling it down off me now. Right there. That'll do for now. Put a little bit off. Ah, oh, bollocks. That's all right. No, no great shakes. Different woolly petal. One there, I think, but one in there. So that flows over there and in, and then the other one over and in. Right. Oh, it's a steel gland plate as well. Okay. Right, we need the, uh, I can get a measure on that now. I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to let a little bit off, because that is, that's touching the ceiling. Right, do you stand on it? Stand facing me and like put your foot, put your foot on it like that. That's it. There you go. It'll probably fall against the wall again, but there you go. moving the panel, I don't believe it. The panels have brought them down and there's another thing, trying to overcome putting cables into panels that I've bumped at the floor. What chance have you got? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, I'm happy with that. I reckon. Put a little gap at the top. So I need the, I'll get the glands measured now and get the holes drilled.
So here we go now with the measure. This is this is pretty critical actually. So from the top of the cable, if we go from the top of the cable, we come to the camera side of the gland because that's where that part of the cable will end up. So what I need to do now is, is imagine the bend of the cable. Obviously I can't have it at 90 degrees because this type of cable ain't gonna bend at 90 degrees. But I can't have it too, sh too shallow because then it will look like it's short. So we've got to get it just more or less spot on to be honest. Use all the available room that I've got. Now I think, let me straighten that, I think that that is it. I don't think I can make any, I don't think I can allow any more, but I can't allow any less. So I'm going to transfer that mark now, down the cable. The trouble I have got is that this is pushing, the cable's pushing on there, and there's no room to get the, cable, the small measure cable down the back. I'm going to try and do it one handed. I'm lift it up. Oh, you cow. There we go. Yeah, that's that's a lovely job. Let me get him. Let me get a light on that. And then hopefully we can get a ring on it and it'll fit. These are the problems I'm facing on this job. None of the panels are bolted down. So you can see, look, this is the clean bit. And there, look, that's, that, that's the bit where the panel was stood, where the swarf's fallen and all of that. So if you look, <coughs> 95, almost 100 mil. So that panel, when I've rested those cable, cables against it, has moved 100 mil. Now, obviously, when I go to put my cables in, they're now going to be 100 mil short. So now I've got to move the cables back, move the panel back, till I get over there. I've got to get it right on like, like fundamentals of building a job is before people start working on it. Come on. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, isn't it? Surely. Now then, what I've rigged up here, there was a board, there was a anchor in the wall luckily enough so I found a piece of threaded rod used a piece of cut off unistrut arm I've got the, that tied to the cable and fortunately I was able to utilize the gap in between the concrete and the ducting to push the cable up and into so I'm, I've got it just started now so I'm hoping that I can push here that way and it should drop in. I, I might not even need the ratchet, but we'll we'll see. Let's just have a look. We set it there. Let's hope the camera doesn't fall off. I'm on the bottom and about. Three inches through. Struggling with the ratchet on it now, to be honest. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, Delightful. That was absolutely, absolutely bloody lovely. <laughs> Good efforts, sir. Good efforts, sir. Right, let's uh, open the bottom panel and take it through the, the bottom section of it. This is low as what we think. Now, this does, this panel needs to move back over. Which is going to be a bit of a pain, I think, to get these sitting correct. Yeah, 
is. Yeah, they're, um, that whole thing needs to move that way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this one in, utilizing the same method, and then what I can do is push, hopefully, push the panel back um, and pull the panel back using anchor bolts and whatever else. We'll have to drill some into that wall and pull it that way. It's, it's moved again, moved even further that way. It's now about 175, maybe 200 mil. And that was just when I was putting the gland on, just moving the cable backwards and forwards. It was pushing the whole thing that way. A bit slack, really. Yeah, not having your panels tied down. Uh, right, let's see what happens with this. Um, what did I do? on there and then I can maneuver it into the gap. Like so, he says. Jim, isn't it? Right, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to tie this on. What this does, it pulls against the hole and sort of straightens the cable up. It's rather than me wrestling with it. It's easier to do it that way. Just place it on the back of the bend. Not too low down. And also what it does as well is it, as it's straightened, it lifts the cable, that part of the cable up over. So it sort of forms, forms the bend again. Right, it's hit the edge of the hole now. Carefully, your fingers getting dragged in because uh, once you've done it, you don't want to do it again. There she goes, what we did. What's happening? It's hit the ledge inside. So the more I do this now, the straighter this cable is going to be. So when I take it off the ledge, it should drop relatively easy. There we go. 
Right. Take this off so it doesn't get caught up. down to where they need to be but now I've got to try and get them I've got to try and get the panel back to where it used to live which yeah that's not gonna be easy right, let's cross that bridge right now then we'll try and move the panel so I've got a piece of wood four by four chain block and then I've got a ratchet strap around the panel base I'm going to try and pull it back to its original position now it might pull it a bit forward but we can deal with that later on that's not an issue let's see what goes on Uh, I'm going to rectify this. I'm going to rectify my rubbish knot. Dick. I think that might be it, you know. I think we're on the ceiling now. Me little rig up. I dropped me a strap round the back, looped it right round the panel. So pulling it from the bottom, you can't pull it from the top because it'll just tilt. And then the two cables drop in. They just need moving closer together now and tying up. But yeah, that was. To be honest, I'll, I'll be deadly honest with you. Now I thought that was going to be a lot worse than what it was because I didn't think I'd get the cables up in that gap. And I thought I was going to have to undo all of that stuff there, take the cleats off, pull it back through and have a right fart on with it. But as it's worked out, wait on. They only needed a, me a meter inside, see? As they only go there. <coughs> Excuse me. 
so I didn't really need that much and that, that allowed me to put the cable up in that gap just enough to uh, facilitate the cables going in. So you're listening to one happy fella. So I'll get them lock nuts on now. Get on. Home time today as well. Might get an early, might get a flyer here. <laughs> that is the terminations done on the 185s up there. Now, I haven't drilled the banjos. I haven't put the earth away. But that's a job for Monday morning. So I am going to pack my toes up and I'm going to go home. I'm going to dress that earth across. The earth comes into this side because it's got to drop right to the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's it. Another week done. Um, it's been all right. It's been enjoyable. It's been a bit, as you'll see, if you last this long, I doubt you will, but it's been a bit trying at times. But um, again, it's been good. It's been challenging. So anyway, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all that mess. Thank you.